Welcome to the workbook. Glad you took a look. What is this K-pop trucker delivering to you today? Well, it's not about what I'm delivering. K-pop. K-pop is delivering to us a new girl group debut. Whew. I am a big GG stan, and I get excited about any any uh, new girl group. I want to give all of them a chance. You, you never can have too many girl groups, right? Well, maybe it is a bad thing. <laughs> I stand way too many groups already. And here is another potential uh, group I can stand to add to that list. <laughs> uh, but today we have a debut by Hi L. I only knew about this group uh, just this week. And just before this, I binged their uh, YouTube channel. They have quite a bit of videos. Uh, each member has a solo performance. The group. Together has a couple dance performances and some behind-the-scenes stuff. I'm really intrigued with this group. Uh, see some potentials, see some potential biases, some potential standing. <laughs> uh, for every new group, I like to go through the, the profile just to get to know them a little bit, recognize the faces. I kind of recognize them a little bit from those uh, promo videos. So let's see what high L is about. It's pronounced ha uh, L. Ha L. Hi L. Hi Insight Libre. Hmm. Wonder what that means. Six member under K pop live entertainment. Hmm. Never heard of that label. Ah, Legion Su Jung Da Hyung Jua Ha Yun. Yeah, sul. All right. I haven't checked out their Instagram or Twitter, but definitely check out their uh, YouTube. Really great uh, pre-debut performances. Really great way to check out each individual member. Lee Jin we're starting off with. No birth name uh, that we know of. Uh... It's actually Asian, Asian. I don't know why romanization is that L. It's Asian. Uh, leader, lead rapper, sub vocal, 2001. Participated in a volunteer work, Natural Balance Blue Angel Volunteer Corp. Last month. Cool. Really nice that we have someone that's a giving person that uh, likes to help others. Uh, her color is purple. Yeah, she did the uh, Taylor Swift dance performance. Not my type of song, but I, I she was a great uh, performance. I liked. Um, and when you were dance performance, it's, it's definitely how you express your body. But your facial expressions, how you project um, that. And I, her facial expressions were just um, really a, grabbing in my attention. I think she has a good stage presence with that. Nicknames Buja Changu, Changu, Chad, Chadu, Kabu. <laughs> Don't know what that means. Her favorite songs looks like Espa, Monster, Red Velvet, uh, Monster. It's not Red Velvet. <laughs> Irene and Sulgi. 15, Mafia. Not my type of playlist, <laughs> but that's okay. I hope I like your music and not necessarily your taste in me. Motto, let's be happy. Yeah, even though we don't have the same taste in music, let's be happy. Always look on the bright side. <laughs> uh, if you know, uh, if you're a fan of Monty Python, you're probably a boomer like me, but you're cool. Next is Su Jung. I uh, remember she had the rap. She was uh, her promo was rapping. Yep, uh, Juan Huang Su Jung, two thousand one. Her color is black. She also participated uh, in that volunteer. Hmm. What if the whole group? I guess participated. That's cool. Having a whole group is a good way to uh, introduce yourself. I mean. I mean, we shouldn't be volunteering and helping people to make our name impressive or make people know who you are. You do it because you want to help. 
uh, without recognition, but cool that the whole group is. Nicknames Kong, Silly, and Sloth. Is Sloth a really impressive name? Or is she lazy or slow? I don't know. Her parents run a restaurant. Now, being the K-pop trucker, I travel a lot, and I, I can eat out a lot. And I usually like to find some Asian restaurants, especially mom and pop stuff. So if I'm ever in Korea, I want to check her uh, parents' restaurant out. Her motto is, don't rush and think slowly. Ah, maybe that's uh, her sloth. Think slowly. Don't rush. Don't dive into stuff. Think about before you jump. Uh, plan things ahead. Uh, don't rush into things just at first glance. Next member is Da Hyung. Um, Jung Da Hyung. Vocalist, main dancer. 2001. Oranya! I am proud of my Dutch heritage. My favorite cover is Oranya, orange. And she volunteered too. Yeah, she had the uh, Chung Ao Bicycle. I'm not necessarily a fan of that song. So maybe I was just turned off by the song to really appreciate her uh, performance. Nickname, Narangi Squirrel Bean Sprout. Squirrel? Isn't there multiple nicknames for idols? Squirrel. My favorite, of course. The one and only, Dubu Tu. <laughs> Dahyun of uh, Rocket Punch. She's my little squirrel. She has a very bright personality, positive and everything. Like the other one. You know, always be happy. And her motto was, effort never betrays. It's a good motto. Always stick with it. Work hard. Next we have Zhu Ah. Hmm. I do remember her. She had uh, the interpretive dance for her profile uh, performance very impressive um uh, i mean interpretive dance always attracts me it's just something about it just i mean i, I don't mind the uh, hip-hop dancing and the other ones that the other members did but something about interpretive dance i don't know if she's a potential bias just because of her performance jua li ju hyun hyun Lee Ju Hyun, sub vocalist. Interesting. Don't even mention her as a dancer because I was impressed with her dancing. 2002, again, she volunteered. Her color is white. Nickname Platypus Fairies. <laughs> ah, she uh, likes Disney. <laughs> Wonder if she likes Phineas, Phineas, Phineas and Ferb. There's a Perry the Platypus on that. Ah, her motto is, who will reach your goal if you keep trying? You will reach your goal, yes. Another similar motto, just uh, stick through it. Stick through it. Keep on trying. Next, we have Ha Yun. Ha Yun. I, I remember her uh, profile performance. Um, it had uh, multiple songs that was, she was dancing to. Um, again, Dancing, you express through your body, but it's also important to have um, facial expressions. Um, and she, she just kind of, kind of a bubbly, just fun facial expressions. Um, and she reminds me of uh, Che Rung, Che Rung of Itzy. A little cute. No birth name given. Ha Yun. Ha Yun. Lead dancer. 2004. Color is yellow. She again volunteered. Her nickname is A Peach. <laughs> like Momo. Momo. Pico, Pico Chan Thomas. That's an interesting nickname. Where did that come from? American boy named Thomas. Motto is, if I make my dreams come true, I can make someone else's dream. That's a good motto. That's, that's, you know, when we reach our goals, we reach our dream, we reach the top. 
don't just sit there. Don't just store up your barns and store up your treasures. Give to others. Be When we're blessed, be a blessing. Help other peoples that are trying to reach their goals, reach their dream. Our last one, Yisul, Yisul, Kim Yisul, lead vocal, Makne, 2004, color is blue, she again volunteered. Oh yes, she had the Miley Cyrus, she sang Wrecking Ball. Um, not my kind of song, so maybe it was a bad judge to see if it was, she was a good vocal. Speciality singing. Annoying Orange. <laughs> now we're on YouTube now, and this is old school. They even were before YouTube started. There is a funny uh, sketch comedy thing. And her motto is, there are trials, but no failures. Trials, but no failures. Nothing is a failure. When you try and you and you mess up, when you fall, it's not a failure. You just get back up. You learn from it. As uh, Bob Ross, <laughs> Bob Ross, the great painter. Oh God, a very soft, pleasant voice. He says, when he messes up, when he's painting, no, it's just a happy accident. It's just. Hey, we'll, we'll make it into something else. <laughs> Tutu. <laughs> Tutu. Oh, I'm a big hockey fan, and there's an old player, uh, Jordan Tutu. His real last name was Tutu, and uh, his number was Tutu. Uh, drawing me in with uh, that. And then the uh, outfits. It looks like a kind of schoolgirl matching uniforms uh it looks like in a schoolyard or something this is definitely different than the promo covers they were doing it was a more hip-hop uh outfits and their performances but i'm excited let's get into hi lee hana dual set Definitely not the same covers they were doing. This is what I I I know K-pop, but I don't know musical terms. I don't know what I was hearing for that opening, but I like it. This is kind of a poppy, poppy beat. Da, 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 I don't uh, was a per, some kind of percussion, and I heard some snapping. And they definitely got matching uh, kind of uniforms. I like it so far. I like that. That that whole beat, that percut, dun, 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 that did not stop when she started rapping. Was it Su Jung? When she started rapping, that it, she just flowed right into that dun, 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 and then her rapping was right on beat with that. That was really cool. That was really cool. I'm I'm getting impressed. Hit me. Yeah, <laughs> 
보고 싶다 상상할 수 없을 만큼 날려버렸다 까맣게 그버린 내 맘을 참아보려고 해봐도 비가 많이 난 정말로 설레이는 내 맘이 또 랄랄랄라 나나나 내가 너를 본 순간 굳어버린 맘 Oh man, I, too, 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 too. I don't know what, how, what, what to say. It, um, there's a lot to take in with this, the song and the video, and um, wow, too, too. <laughs> I remember at, at first I was singing, I, I stand too many groups. <laughs> this song is about you're crushing on somebody too, too much. <laughs> oh man, um, yeah. I really like this song. I I really like the video, um, their their presence. But is this uh, rookie of the year greatness? Uh, Lightsome has raised the bar high for that. <laughs> um, I, I'm getting a lot of thoughts. A lot of thoughts are coming. Like just a lot of comparisons. Um, I mean they are outside. And school uniforms matching together. I get the kind of cute, elegant uh, vibe of G-Friend. Um, that's G-Friend's signature of just... Uh, but that that rap is totally not G-Friend, though. And I guess the sound of the song is not really G-Friend. Just the visual um, aspect is kind of G-Friend. That... That rap was uh, really made it uh, 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 girl crush. <laughs> Whew. And then their uh, performances and outfits in the gym were kind of girl crush. But still, the song was not girl crush. The song was a little bubbly, uh, peppy, kind of fun. Um, so I want to say it would be cute, elegant. Girl crush is not elegant. Yeah, more of innocence because then I get kind of the picture when they're in the school and they're like shy and cute and oh innocent. I get uh, like early twice a lot of their in school kind of vibe and um, and then also Girls Day, early Girls Day like uh, Don't Forget Me and they have that definitely cute innocent look uh softness it's not colorful bright but just soft in the uh cinematography come on stand girls day before they became their big mature stuff i mean i love everything girls day they're cute innocent stuff i kind of got that vibe with this and um i i'm i'm not very elegant (laughs) 
in my musical language. I know K-pop. I know what I like. I know what I hear, but I just don't know the right word. <laughs> um, I thought I heard some uh, a violin. Um, they're mixed with a percussion. The composition of the music was really good. The um, There wasn't power vocals up front. But when the power vocals are like back out of harmony, it just hits you. I guess the only member that I remember is uh, Soojung. I mean, the rapper is easy to pick out. I think I did remember, and I apologize, I forgot your name. Uh, the one that looks like Chaerung. <laughs> when I seen her in the music, oh, that's like, I forgot your name. You're Chaerung. <laughs> uh, but I got to get to know him. I really enjoyed this. I, I'm really glad I checked them out. I'm really glad and uh, thankful that you guys checked me out, checking them out. And yeah, likey, likey. Subscribe, subscribe. Annyeong.